everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Stella Glow. In the last episode, we had some very unfortunate events happen to us after we went to the Kashmistanian Desert, whatever the place is called. We were not well received there, and we heard some of Rusty's stories about the events that happened three years ago. Now, in this episode, we shall be going forth and doing some tuning. So, yeah, no, don't really know this real story progression in this episode, unless this tuning takes like a few seconds. Yeah. But, let's see what we're doing with the tuning today. So as we saw, we have we can tune two of the witches. I don't think we can actually tune Lizette. No, we can't. Even though she does have chains around her heart preventing us from actually fulfilling the bond even further. However, we have to tune Sakia and Popo. I think just because we've known Popo longer, we'll tune her first. Is this the girl you desire? Okay, it'll cost 1,000 gold. You know what? Worth it. I need to do my job. Interesting. All right, yes, we'll tune the switch. Alto, are you going to tune me? I'd rather not if I don't have to. Can't you tell me what's going on? Why are you still doing these jobs even though you're here? You're free now. You chose to come to the royal capital. But that's why. For me to be myself, I need to keep doing my job. You're really suffering, huh? Well, don't worry. I'll save you. Alright, and we return to Popo's spirit world. So let's see what's, what's troubling her this time. It's been a while since I was last here. Bubu. Is that Popo's shadow? Bubu, what's the matter? I'm not Bubu. It's me, Alto. Bubu, it's terrible. There are monsters coming from the north, south, East and West. I need to do my job. Popo, you don't need to do your job anymore. You're free. Then, what am I supposed to do? What do you mean? I have to work, or else I won't be able to be me. That's not true. Don't say things like that. I just don't get it. I've been happy since I came to the capital, but I'm still afraid. What am I? Who am I? What do I do that makes me me? What do I need to do to be myself? Please, tell me. I get it now. You're afraid of being free. You never knew what freedom was. You were living all by yourself. Oh, the monsters are here. I have to do my job! No. I'll get rid of the monsters. Popo, you need to wake up. You're free now! Okay, so we have to take out these monsters plaguing Popo's heart by the looks of it. Hmm? Is there a timer? That's pretty interesting if there is. Oh, we actually can choose uh, party members for this, so wait. Oh! So they can actually come with us into the spirit world like this? Okay. Uh, let's bring, um, let's bring, we're gonna have Rusty in here. We're gonna bring, uh, uh Sakuya. Okay, so basically, it looks like we can actually have to divide them up, uh, basically what we did last time. We have to divide and conquer. So we will have, uh, okay, I'll have Sakuya out here as well. We'll have Lizette. We'll have Klaus. And we'll bring out Nanika. Alright, that should do it for this party. 
So what are the conditions of this battle? Defeat more enemies than Popo Shadow. Oh. Okay. That's quite interesting. So basically, oh, that's gonna be pretty difficult. Here we go. Okay. Well, that's even more difficult considering the fact that, oh, we can't really move much. So, this is gonna be a very interesting battle. So basically, we have to take out more enemies than Popo can. Well, as long as we can take out the enemies down here before she can take out those enemies up there, we should be in good shape. And these guys are all pretty low leveled, so we shouldn't be too hard to take out. So, not too hard, I guess. We'll have to see, though, because this could go south very quickly for us. It's just a shame that we have to waste our turn um, moving over these platforms. Because that basically gives Popo a advantage. But then again, to get down from her platform, she has to wait a turn as well. So I guess, depending, I guess it just depends on how you look at it. Plus we have counters, so that works too. Alright, so basically, no, 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 we're all moving forward here. So yeah, this, this will be an interesting battle. So, it, so basically the tuning... Well, it seems like they'll have some different types of events in battle compared to how the witch feels. Which is kind of interesting when you think about it. It's basically showing that Popo's inner struggle is she wants to kill as many monsters as she can and protect people. But she doesn't need to do that anymore. Well, granted she can still protect people, but not in the same way she's doing it. If this ramble makes any sense. I don't know here. But it depends on how long this tuning will take us, though. Oh, focus. Now what are these things doing? All right. So Popo, it? Popo will have one enemy up on us, but we should be able to take up more enemies considering our, our sheer amount of numbers. And basically how we can easily get a back attack in on these things. Only 24 damage, though. Not good at all. Actually, do you think have any weaknesses? Um, oh, they're weak, to, they're weak to wind, which we have nothing that can imbue with wind. How unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's get him from behind, and let's just do a different, uh, an attack. Uh, can you do any skills? Shinobi Slash. That won't even do it. That won't even finish it. So we kind of interesting. These things have a very high defense rate. Which, I don't know how it's gonna, um, come into play here. Alright. It seems how, kind of odd how, how underleveled these enemies are, but how high their defense is as well. Let's go! Oh well. Rusty, get him behind this guy. It's time. 36 damage. We want to kill, because that's the whole point of this. It's time. 48 damage. We can probably come in and mop this thing up relatively quickly. I'll you up. <laughs> All right. That's taken care of. And plus, if he attacks us, we can just easily counter. Now, I wonder, what happens if Popo dies? Granted, these enemies are pretty weak, but still, that's a, that's a possibility. Oh, well, you're... It, hey, Rusty, can you one-hit counter him? Oh, he guarded. No, he couldn't do a one-hit counter. That would have been that would have been nice, but hey. Okay. Of course, we're gonna attack Lizette. Uh, Lizette. Oh, I don't know how much. Uh, Ten damage to Lizette. She's pretty beefy now, though. How much? How much we leveled her up over the last few um, battles. Now, I wonder if it's, if we can actually stop Popo from attacking if we actually can confront her. Interesting um, scenario, but. Um, I think I'll have Sakiya finish that thing off, and we'll move Alto to the next platform to get a head to get a head start. Because even if that thing does attack us the next turn, we can easily counterattack it, and hopefully finish it off the turn after that. And how much damage did you do? Only thirty-four damage. I think we I think we have a good chance of doing this without completely screwing this up. So it can counter, but why is this showing it can counter us but no damage done? Quite weird. Unless there's, a, unless there's a stat I'm not aware of, but that's still kind of weird. Alright, so Popo is still ahead of us in kills, but we are making progress to eventually overtake her. Um, let's use a splash on this thing. I don't think that'll do much. It'll resist, but that's a lot of damage, though. Yeah, I mean, it may not do much, but still. Water, hey, it did resist, but we still pretty much it's pretty much done for now. All right, and we're gonna move you up so in preparation to get you out of here to the next part of the um, stage. Let us advance. All right, and we're gonna have um. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I think we want to have Klaus move up to the next to the next platform, and I'll have Nanaka finish that thing off on her turn. The strategy either may come back to bite me in the rear or not, but we want to get out and start attacking these big monsters as fast as possible. Oh, and it's attacking us from afar, so 
So much for the counter. But only eight damage. Holy cow, these things are pretty weak. Here we go. So basically, this thing is this is just turning. This is just basically turning into us. Um, oh no, no, don't move, Nanika. Um, uh, playing chess with um, Popo. So I don't know if I actually want to show much more of this battle off because it's just me making my movements quite, you know, um, um, careful. So I'm going to cut ahead until something exciting does happen. And if nothing does happen, well, then I'll just show, go to the end of the battle. But if something I think noteworthy does show up in the middle of this, I'll show it. So be back in a second. All right. That wasn't too hard. Please don't be afraid of being free. You can still be yourself without having to do anything. But that's really hard. You'll get used to it. In time. In time? Um, well, how about I decide what you should do until you get used to it? Okay then. What should I do? You should be by my side. And be there for me. Laugh when you're happy, and talk to me when you're troubled. We can enjoy the fun times, and help each other through the sad times. That's going to be your new job. Once you get used to it, you won't need to do your old job anymore. Okay. I'll do as you say, Alta. Good. I'm glad I was able to talk to you about it. Thanks, Alta. Everything you got. Squeeze. I'm sorry I didn't realize what you were going through. But you did, Alto. I'm just not used to being free. When I was able to do whatever I wanted, I didn't know what to do. I never thought of it like that. I guess it's hard to be free. But talking to you made me think about it, Alto. I might not know what I need to do. But I know what I want to do. Travel the world, right? Yep. And I also want to make people happy. And... There's one more thing I want to do. Oh? What's that? Be with you! I'm going to stay by your side, Alto. Not because it's my job, but because I like you. Uh, I see. Does that bother you, Alto? No. It's just a little embarrassing. <laughs> oh. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm really hungry. Well then, let's get something to eat. Okay! Looks like she's back to normal. Thank goodness. You sense a bond forming with Popo. Alright, and we got our first level up of Popo rank up with Popo's bond. If any Popo has increased, Popo's acquired the Ride of the Wind. Popo's acquired a new song and move oh add add move up speed up to self to self and nearby allies. Cool! Aim support has also been enhanced. Popo's support effect is now upgraded, even greater accuracy for adjacent allies. Alright, that was pretty fun. Well not really. The the battle was a bit um Well wow. That technique was amazing. Really, the battle was kind of monotonous. It was just making sure you get to every enemy and killing it as fast as you can before Popo could. And there was, really wasn't much to talk about over that battle. But now we have Sakuya's tuning event. So let's talk to her and see what in the world is troubling her. Is this the girl you desire? All right. Oh, we'll learn Song of Flames. All right, sure. So what are you going to do? We shall tune the switch. What is this, Alto? What's up with this outfit? Oh, right. I should have known you'd be dressed like that. Medea forced me to wear this. What are you planning on doing to me? Bringing me here. You better not be planning something perverted. What? No! 
Why would I want to do something like that to you? Like I said, there's something I want to discuss with you. I thought you'd understand the significance of this place. Well, I guess I kind of do. You are the conductor, after all. If you didn't bring me here to do anything weird, then... Would you please get off that subject? Hey, do I need to be tuned again? Could it be that... Like that time in Amatsu... Is my song... No, that's not the problem. You don't want to go through something like that again, do you? No, I never want to go through that again. I was so ashamed of myself. I'm Sakuya the Fire Witch. I'm not going to give in to my weaknesses. <laughs> What's going on? Those are your true feelings. Sakuya, I'm going to tune you. And here we are, for the first time actually, well really second time, into Sakia Spirit World. So, this is the inside of Sakia's heart. Ah, thank you for honoring me with your presence, Master Conductor. I am the Fire Witch, or rather the Priestess of Amatsu, Sakuya. Sakuya? Something's not quite right. Your Sakuya as the priestess? I thank you for being concerned about my incompetence. However, your sympathy is not required. Kindly excuse yourself. Uh. This matter will not change, whether I show you my true self or not. The burden of a priestess is something that I must bear alone. So you're telling me to leave? Without doing you? Yes. My complaints are merely an expression of weakness. Well, that's not happening. Why would you say such a thing? You have already saved me, have you not? Or are you saying that Sakuya as the priestess is no longer needed? That's not what I'm saying. Yes, we tried to get rid of you, but Sakuya is still the priestess. She'll never be without you. That's something I've realized after getting to know her. Then what will you do? For I do not require your assistance. This is your heart. If you don't need me, then you can chase me out. But I have no intention of leaving. There's something I have to do. So, if it's maybe a regular battle by the looks of it? Oh! Sakiya Spirit World! Wow, this thing, this seems a bit uh, more intense than Popo, I'll tell you that much. We're not going it alone, are we? All right, and here we are at the start of the tuning event. So this party, I I, I just had an attempt off screen. It didn't go so well because I thought, oh, let's put Archibald in because he needs some leveling up. No, Archibald, you are horrible. So we're taking you out and we're replacing you with Popo. There we go. That should work. Uh, there'll be a reason why we need to replace her um, Archibald with Popo. Uh, it's because the whole point of this battle is to stop Sakiya's shadow from getting away. And I was one hit away from defeating the shadow, but I had nothing, no one to actually was able to get to it. However, we have, we have a bunch of people who can easily get to her now. So that's, that, I don't have to worry about it right now. So we're going to attack her like that. And so basically if you're, if, I think if I'm in a good spot where I can now take her out without having to, um, do much. Let's go. All right. We're going to have Rusty move Rusty up here. We're gonna have him use his knife throw on her, which will take out actually not all three of them, but it'll do a lot of damage to all three of them. Your face makes a great target. All right. If she's at 59 damage, I think we actually Popo's long shot can do a lot of damage to her as well. Well, not long shot. Um. Oh uh, yeah, her her long shot. 
So let's move Popo up a little bit so she can actually get in range. Alright, long shot. It's a long shot, but I think we can make it. And I think actually I can get out to use his Arc Slash to finish this off. Yep, I am. Let's see here. Skills. Um. Wild Slash wouldn't do it. It'll have to be the Arc Slash. Sorry, Rusty. You're gonna get hurt, but this is for the this is for the good of the party. Okay, this is for the good of the party, Rusty. Just take it for the team. Dead. Okay. Hurt. And dead. So done in one turn cycle. Sakuya, there's something I want to ask you. Did you rope me into doing your work for your own satisfaction? Satisfaction? No. I did it because I was weak. Nonoka and I should have carried out those duties. Do you really think you're just playing the part of the priestess? What? What do you mean? I am the priestess. That's not it though, right? Sakuya's priestess is still part of you. You didn't look too pleased when you first made me your manager. You were mad because I didn't get what you were going through. You involved me in this because you wanted me to know more about you. Well... You never make excuses for yourself. And you always do your best. But if you won't open up to me, why should I be your manager? I don't want to see you have to shoulder everything on your own. Just be honest and tell us when you're feeling burdened. I won't reject you as a priestess anymore, all right? I'll tell. So tell me, Sakuya, what am I to you? Uh, uh, well, you're... you're my manager. Looks like you finally understand. Oh, don't look so smug. Anyway, I'm grateful to you. Thank you for coming to find me. And with that, we've done, we've done it again. Two tunings in one episode. Granted, this one was a lot easier than the other one, because I have a, have a simple way to just, just Zerg Rusher. That was the best way to do it. Jeez, uh, it's not fair, you stupid conductor. W what was that all about? You just waltz into my heart and look at my thoughts and feelings? Who do you think you are? A noble or something? Stupid conductor. Look, I'm sorry I didn't get your permission to do that. But you're at fault too. You shouldn't be taking on so much. I guess you're right. I wasn't taking proper care of myself. Why were you neglecting your health? Tell me what's going on. Okay, fine, fine. I was tired. We were all fighting enemies all the time. But I didn't want anyone to see that it was getting to me. You have a really difficult personality, you know that? Oh, shut up. Stop being so smug about it. <laughs> That's the spirit. You're more like yourself when you get worked up. Come to me when you need to vent. It'll be easier than being tuned. Yeah, I guess you're right. I suppose your training is over. You're now officially my manager. What? Listen, I'm not going to vent to a trainee. My pride won't allow it. Oh, and you can't refuse because you volunteered in the first place. Uh, sure. I guess I don't really have a problem with that. So then, you're going to rely on me more from now on, right? Well, I... Stop being so full of yourself, you stupid pushy pervert. You sense a bond forming of Sakia. Or at least you think it's a bond. Alright, and we've leveled up our affinity with her. Rank up! Your affinity of Saki has increased. Saki has acquired Song of Flames! Saki has acquired a new song. Magic attacks to all nearby enemies. Add burn. Ooh, okay, cool. Critical support has been enhanced. Cool. So now higher um, critical rates. And that's all the tuning! We have one free time left with our, um... That technique was amazing. Yeah, sure it was. So we have we have one free time left. All of the witches are tuned, at least the ones that we can tune. I guess I should probably go talk to Nanaka. 
because I have not... She's probably the only person I have yet to talk to. So we'll give her a chat. And I'm going to need to um, get start getting more money for future tunings, that's for sure. So select Nanika. We've actually never talked to her before. So yes, you want to talk to Nanika? Time will pass if you select yes. Yes, I shall. You talk to Nanika. Hey, Nanika. What are you doing hunched over in the corner? Are you okay? Y yes I'm used to rolling on the ground. That's not a good thing. Anyway, your stuff's all over the ground. Here, I'll help you pick it up. Ah, don't touch that! I'm really happy for the help, but that's my waist cloth. What's a waist cloth? It's an embarrassing undergarment. If you touch it, I'll never marry. An embarrassing undergarment? B wait, is this... S sorry, I won't look at it. Just hurry and pick it up. I have so many questions I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> okay! Sorry, I didn't know. I wouldn't have said anything if I did. N no, it's my fault for carrying my laundry around at this hour. I wish I could do it at night. There are a lot of people around. Why can't you do it at night? Well, the other day, someone saw me doing laundry. Now there's a rumor about a strange person who goes out at night. There are a lot of people who don't know you, come to think about it. I'm a shinobi. It's important for me to maintain my stealthiness. But now people have misunderstood you and you're in trouble, right? I think it'd be good for you to get to know the soldiers and servants. Get to know them? I'm not good at meeting people. I'd rather hide than introduce myself. But if it's for a mission, I can get courage from this cardboard box. I always knew you were shy, but I didn't think it was this bad. It is. I get embarrassed when people look at me. I may be a little too self-conscious. Uh, well, you do stand out in a lot of ways. That's putting it very mildly. Really? That's a big problem for a shinobi. I must train my stealth technique so that no one will ever see me, ever. Hey, that's it. We should train. Huh? We can train the fear of meeting people out of you. Let's walk around a bit after you're done with the laundry to start. Huh? B but wouldn't that be an inconvenience for you? Consider it an apology for surprising you earlier. I'll ask Sakuya if it's okay for us to train together. Well, if Lady Sakuya gives her permission, let's train together. Please, and thank you. Oh boy. Okay, after I call the server over, you have to order something. Ah, it's so sudden. You'll be fine. Just think of it as a mission. Excuse me, I'd like to order. I'll have a ham sandwich and a coffee. That's a bad combination, but okay. I'm fine with water and, and, and some leftovers. Wait, wait. Calm down. Just point to what you want. That's an effective way to communicate, too. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, what should I order? Whatever you'd like. You don't have to get the same thing as me. If you can't think of anything, then just order a piece of cake. Uh, oh, okay then. Um, I have a... That's it. Nee, nee. Hey, wait! Monica! Well, it'll be... It'll, it's a work in progress. Ah, here you are. Just as I thought. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I caused today. There's no need to apologize. You worked really hard today. I may have been a little too pushy. Sorry if I made you feel bad. N no! Please don't think that. You were really kind to me. And I really appreciate it. Really? Then I'm glad. Well, I'll be going to my room. Okay. See you later. You sense a bond forming with Nanaka, and a great deal of misfortune in the future.
All right, we have a bond start with Nanaka. Your affinity with Nanaka has increased. Nanaka has acqu acquired status ailment plus. Okay, Nanaka has acquired a new ability. Increased chance of status ailment success. Okay, cool. And she's now she's acquired dodge support. That'll come handy in the future. So with that, with the two tunings and talking to Nanaka for the first time, our free time is now over. So let us go to sleep, and I guess we'll have to report to see what Commander Klaus has for us um, going on next. However, it would be nice to give me an option to save now. But hey, sorry the commentary isn't a bit light in this episode. There really wasn't much I can commentate over of all the dialogue. Free time's over. We head back into our next mission time. Pardon the intrusion. Commander Klaus has called a 9th Regiment, a 9th Regiment meeting. Please head to the conference hall at once. Understood, I'll get over there now. We shall now initiate the operation to secure the Earth Witch. Our first goal must be... To do something about that misguided Four Eyes Keith. He and his familiars are definitely going to try and get in our way again. But that misguided Four Eyes Keith could us to the Earth Witch. I know that. Don't speak out of place. You take tick that talking pair of knockers. It's also necessary that, that we secure a supply route before we perform a full-scale search. The only thing we can do right now is rely on the on the man on that yeah, that man Amira's cavern ca caravan. The people there seem completely opposed to helping us, though. It is only logical that they react to such a matter, considering the tragedy that happened from three years ago. However, we have we have a duty to fulfill as royal knights. We cannot stand idly by. He's right. We need to find the Earth Witch before the Harbingers do. All members, I ask you to proceed with extreme caution. Be very, be ever vigilant. Now then, let us depart. Yes. All right, cool. So I think now, actually, we have time to do that now because we, we can get supplies and stuff before we head out. So next time on Let's Play Stella Glow, we shall be departing for the desert once again, hopefully securing the Earth Witch. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the other parts in the series, and let me know what you the series so far down in the comment section below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamalad signing off. Oh, no, yeah.